Detroit The Detroit Tigers have agreed to a deal that would send left-handed reliever Justin Wilson and catcher Alex Avila to the Chicago Cubs for two prospects. The Detroit Free Press first reported the players involved in the deal fan rag sports reported that the deal had been completed. The news broke late Sunday, about 16 hours before the trade deadline. Neither team officially confirmed the move. The Tigers would receive third baseman Jimer Condelario and shortstop Isaac Paradis. The Cubs are also sending cash or a player to be named later. Wilson has been the Tigers' top trade chip, with up to a dozen teams said to be competing for his services. Condelario, 23, is the Cubs' top prospect, according to MLB Pipeline, and number 92 overall. Baseball America is less enthusiastic about him, listing him as the organization's ninth best prospect. Condelario, who was born in New York but grew up in the Dominican Republic, is hitting .266 with 12 homers in AAA Iowa and has played briefly in the big leagues in 2016 and 2017. He impressed the Cubs in spring training but is blocked at third base by Chris Bryant for the foreseeable future. Paredes, a native of Mexico, is currently playing in South Bend, Indiana the Class A Midwestern League. Baseball America says he's the Cubs' fifth best prospect ahead of Condelario. MLB Pipeline has him at number 10 in the Cubs system. The Tigers will be losing their most reliable reliever and veteran catcher who was in the midst of one of the best seasons of his career. But Tigers general manager Al Avila is trying to restock the farm system, with an emphasis on position, players. The Tigers acquired three mineral league infielders from the Arizona Diamondbacks earlier this month in the J.D. Martinez trade. Avila is the first MLB general manager to trade his own son since Dodgers GM Al Campanese traded his son Jim in 1968. This is the third time Wilson, 29, has been traded in his career. The Tigers acquired him from the New York Yankees after the 2015 season in exchange for young pitchers Luis Sessa and Chad Green. There's so many rumors out there, Wilson said after Sunday's game in Detroit. I don't have control over it. He'll be happy when the deadline passes, regardless of where I am at. Wilson was largely a setup man for the Tigers in 2016, when he went 45 with a 4.14 era, striking out 65 in 58-23 innings. This year, he took over the closer role in May after veteran Francisco Rodriguez blew several saves in rapid succession. He's 34 with a 2.68 era and 13 saves, striking out 55 in 40 13 innings. Wilson will earn $2.7 million in 2017 and is due for a sizable raise in arbitration next year. He can be a free agent after the 2018 season. He has said he's tried to tune out the constant trade rumors. I try not to think about any of that, Wilson said. I know I have no control over it. If it happens, it happens. It's part of the business. I've got a great family. Well just pack up and go if need be. Wilson began his career with the Pittsburgh Pirates, who drafted him in the fifth round in 2008 after a stellar college career at Fresno State. The Pirates sent him to the Yankees for catcher Francisco Cervelli after the 2014 season. Wilson has pitched in the postseason with the Pirates in 2013 and 2014 and in the Al wildcard game with the Yankees in 2015. I've enjoyed everywhere I've been, and I enjoy it here, he said. Earlier this month, I hope to stay here. But if I get traded, I get traded. Avila, 30, was drafted by the Tigers out of the University of Alabama in 2008, at least partly over the objections of his father, who thought his son should have a chance to make his mark in baseball without the pressure of having his dad in the front office. He made his debut in 2009 and became the Tigers' regular catcher a year later. He made his only All-Star game in 2011 when he hit .295 with 19 home runs and 82 RBIs. The left-handed hitter is known for his sharp eye at the plate that consistently gives him a high on-base percentage .350 in his career to mitigate a comparatively low batting average .242. The Tigers opted to let Avila leave as a free agent after the 2015 season. But after a year with the Chicago White Sox, Avila returned to his father's club, signing a one-year, $2 million contract over Christmas to serve as backup catcher. Avila was one of the hottest hitters in baseball for parts of the season and took over the everyday job, although he's cooled since the All-Star break. In 76 games, he's hitting .271 with a .392 OBP, 11 home runs and 32 RBIs. Avila will be a free agent again this winter, so there's a chance he could return to the Tigers, as he's a good fit with the right hand hitting James McCann. But the Tigers will also use the rest of the season to get an extended look at John Hicks, who has been impressive offensively but has yet to get regular playing time behind the plate.